So, hi. And thank you for tuning in to Ruthie Wells Cinema. <clears throat> and this is a review of the movie The Lincoln Lawyer, starring Matthew McConaughey and Marissa Tomei. Or is it Tomei? I'm never sure how to say her name, and I hate to botch up people's names. Um, but Marissa, everybody knows who I'm talking about. Marissa Tomei. I believe that's how that's the correct pronunciation of her name. And I apologize if it is not. <laughs> but the movie The Lincoln Lawyer was very entertaining, to say the least. It kind of reminded me of The Devil's, um, not The Devil's Ad Advocate, although The Devil's Advocate did have, uh, did have a, a greasy lawyer played by um, Keanu Reeves. But the film that it really put me in mind of, which came to my mind, is the movie called And Justice For All from 1979 with Al Pacino. That movie was incredible. I mean, he was a good lawyer, you know, really trying to do the right thing, you know, but of course the sister was so corrupt, you know, he went into court and it's like, I'm out of order, you're out of order, the whole court is out of order. <laughs> and then he proceeded to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> So that's like one of those classic films from American cinema. But the, in The Lincoln Lawyer, Matthew McConaughey plays a character by the name of Holler, something Holler. And he is like a greaseball attorney, but you know, he has high profile, high profile clients and you know, they can afford to pay him whatever amount he's asking. I mean, and he's got some shady characters as clients also. But he's um, kind of GQ, but slightly rumpled GQ, but still nice, you know what I mean? And of course, you know how Matthew McConaughey looks, so that's enough said about that. And you know, he carries himself well, he's always talking to his inside boys, even when he's upset, he talks real, he leans in real close, <laughs> and he says what he has to say. But... Um, and it makes for it makes for really great uh, movie watching. I mean, I haven't seen a, a courtroom drama that good in a long time. And when I was watching movies, I kept thinking, why is he called a Lincoln lawyer? What does that mean? He's a Lincoln lawyer. Is he trying to get off innocent people who can't afford to pay him? What what makes him a Lincoln lawyer? <laughs> and then I was watching, I was reading the, the review given in Mother Jones magazine, and and I was like, oh my goodness, I felt like such a jingleberry. I'm like, I can't believe I couldn't figure out that he was being driven around in a Lincoln town car <laughs> by a guy named Earl. <laughs> But um, he um, gets a kick as a, a, a client who, of course, he comes to him and says, I'm not innocent. I'm innocent. No, I'm not taking a deal. No, I am not going to jail for something I didn't do and blah, blah, blah. Now, you know, Hollywood wouldn't have a movie if the guy was innocent. You know, just, just wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been a movie. So further on down the line, we find out the guy is guilty. <laughs> guilty of that and then so. Well, it's on then. It's on. Um, McConaughey's character asks his driver early, get him something. He don't let tell us. We don't hear what it is he's asking the guy for. But boy, I tell you this, it's a good thing he got it. So I'm not going to spoil it by saying what he got for him. But uh, suffice it to say, uh, at some point in the movie, he knows that his client is lying. Of course, he's pissed. And he's got to try to think of another angle to come at him. You know, so, you know, he's working this and he's doing that and some other people get involved and, okay, he's acquitted of the charge that Paula is defending him for. Acquitted. And then as soon as he gets acquitted, he's arrested for something else. And I'm not going to tell y'all what it is. I don't want to totally give away the movie. And then it's on, but uh, there's some nice surprises and some stuff to make you go, yeah, man, yeah, that's good for his ass. <laughs> And uh, interesting about the movie is the opening theme song is a song by uh, Bobby Blue Bland called Ain't No Love 
Ain't no love in the heart of the city. And when I heard that tune, I was like, oh my goodness, I know that song. It just takes me back in time. And I hadn't heard it in such a long time. And it's Bobby Blue Bland and a young Bobby Blue Bland at that. And it's just a really good song. And it's the, the other soundtrack of the movie is, is pretty interesting. It's some fun sounding hip hop stuff, stuff that I feel like I could dance to. And um, it's a really fun movie to watch. It's directed by a young man named Brad Furman, who's directed some other major motion pictures. <laughs> and it's a really good movie. And in Ruthie World Cinema, I'd have to give this, this, this movie a big old Ruthie World Kool-Aid smile. Yes. So if you like courtroom drama, if you like Matthew McConaughey and don't mind watching him walk around on screen, you will love this movie. If you love Marissa Tomei, yes, 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 you will love this movie. So this is going to be an American classic. Yes, it is. So thank you for tuning in to Ruthie World Cinema. And until next time, I'll see you again on Ruthie World Web TV. Something different on the web. Really?